Hi, Steve Mills here, and uh, this uh, video is produced actually for all my clients. Um, I've spent over 25 years now, as uh, my, many of my clients know, uh, helping small businesses and uh, businesses who are looking to grow uh, to improve their results. Um, but in this video, uh, it's, it's almost like a, it's a New Year's message, really. Uh, firstly, uh, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, I hope you had a good one and uh, getting ready for 2020. And, uh, you know, it, it's a time, I'm actually filming this on the uh, 31st of December. So I'm doing it uh, on New Year's Eve, uh, getting ready for the new year, getting ready for, um, you know, a party later. Uh, but uh, importantly, getting ready for next year. That's the real uh, opportunity right now. And uh, what I want you to do is um, uh, really to think about what do you want uh, your business to do over the next 12 months because you know we, we hear all the time about you know well it's really important to set goals and you know you hear that you know businesses with goals succeed more than businesses that don't set goals and and yet you know I still see you know when I speak to a lot of my clients they don't have them and if they do have them they say well yeah we you know it's it's all in my head you know uh, we want to grow the business sure Steve that's why we're working with you but if I actually you know literally nail them down and said right what you know you want to grow your business where are you now what do you want to try to achieve if we're sat here in 12 months time what would good look like and get a number written down and then we can work back month by month to see if we're on target or not and uh, you know when you're doing that I think that's a, a really good thing and obviously goals are not just you know I want to increase my turnover it might be increase my profitability of the company or it might be to you know improve the marketing or you know to reduce costs in some way you know there are lots of different goals that we could have um, but I, I, I want to share a thought with you, and it's something I heard, you know, I, I can't actually remember where I picked this up from, but I can honestly say it wasn't my original idea. Uh, it was I don't know, some marketing guy that I listened to, and I listened to lots of them, as you're probably aware. And he, he asked a really powerful question. He said, if, if you could think of who would be the like the you know uh, the ideal person to take over your business and run it for 12 months right now now that could be i don't know perhaps a, a leading person in your industry or it might be you know a leading person in business like you know a richard branson or a, you know perhaps one of the dragons off dragon den or some other you know person who you you rate as a top, you know, real top business person. For, for me, in my industry, the the, uh, the the world's leading person, I'd say, who's in what I'd call the, the helping industry, you know, helping, coaching, advising, uh, consultancy, that type of, of industry, without any shadow of a doubt, is a guy called Tony Robbins. He turns over, I think, something like two billion a year. Uh, so, you know, he's doing a, just a little bit better than I am. Uh, but, uh, you know, seriously, you know, if, if Tony came in to run my business for the next 12 months, would he be more successful than me? And my answer to that is absolutely, I'm, I'm sure he would. Now, we've got to set a couple of guidelines here. You know, Tony's not allowed to use his money. Of course he would if he put a billion pounds into the marketing of it. I think, yeah, he'd be able to grow it. But, you know, he's not allowed to use his money. He's not allowed to use his name because he's, you know, world famous. So he's not allowed to use his name. And he's not allowed to use his contacts. He's just, you know, landed in my business without, you know, everything that he's got from his former life, as it were. And he's going to run my business for the next 12 months. Would he be more successful? 
And the powerful quote, well, I, I believe firstly, yes, absolutely. You know, if Richard Branson took over my business and ran it for 12 months without his name, without his money, without his contacts, I still think he'd be more successful than me. And um, if that's the case, and I believe it is the case, then the question is, what would he or they do different to me? What would they do different to me? And, you know, I strongly recommend you, you know, you go and have a, a team meeting or meet with me and let's brainstorm that. Let's think, you know, if, if somebody, you know, a successful business person that you hold in high esteem came into your business and ran it, would they be more successful than you? If so, why? And that's really my message. Um, so, you know, two things potentially to do as a result of this uh, video. One is to uh, set yourself some goals for next year. And then two is to work out if you had some leading expert come into your business, run it for a year. If there's somebody who you think would do better than you're, you're doing, then what would they do different? And uh, I hope that helps you. I really do. Uh, so it just um, leaves me to say uh, thanks ever so much for your business uh, in 2019. Happy New Year. And I really hope 2020 is going to be massively successful for, for everybody, for all my clients uh, and for me. So let's do whatever it takes to make sure that that happens. Uh, you know, we, we, what I don't want to do is, you know, be in a situation where, you know, I've not done this, I've not done that, I've not done the other. Let's make sure that we take action and we create some fantastic results uh, for you. And, uh, and I'll be trying to do the same for you and, and obviously for me as well. So uh, thank you ever so much for listening and uh, Happy New Year.